Hey, Blue Table fans, I'm here at the uh, Crystal Breath. What? what? Hey! Hey, Blue Table fans, I'm here at the Crystal Brush booth, and there is some absolutely amazing stuff here. I'm going to take you on a little tour of the best of the best. Of the best of the best. They're the best. Mention that they were the best. Okay, so uh, there's a ton of stuff in this booth here. Kelly. Okay. All right, there's a ton of stuff in this booth, and uh, let's take a look. Obviously, a ton of single miniatures, and uh, but some of them really do kind of stand out. First off, I don't know what game system these are for. Uh, they're what? Uh, no, not Infinity. Nope, I, th I think they're Dead Zone by Mantic. And if yes, that's some amazing stuff. So anyway, whatever these guys are, they're certainly extremely characterful. No, this is that game by McVeigh, whatever that's called. Anyway, there you go, displaying my ignorance. So yeah, this guy in a suit, these drones are really cool. Very subtle, uh, very subtle weathering on them. And uh, the basing is really, really extremely detailed, which is which is a must. I mean, this almost looks printed. Uh, of course, it couldn't be. And uh, yeah, it's the this the blood spatters are very, very realistic. And uh, yeah, I would I would definitely give this little piece of candy at high marks. Oh. All right, I really like this piece because I'm not normally a fan of busts, but uh, this incorporates like other elements, like it's little fur and feathers and stuff. And uh, I think that's just really, really, really amazingly cool. Oh, this guy's not very happy. So down here you get into the ridiculous zone where, you know, really all the elements that are needed for a world-class model are, uh, are all combined. Base work, conversion, painting, composition, uh, narrative strength, and uh, I just, I, I love this piece. It's really, really amazing. I can't tell you much more about it, but um, yeah, look at that. Sorry, I'm not a little more steady here, but uh, you have to understand the intricate scale of all this. Now look on the unicorn's horn, there's like a little sprite right in there. And this is just ridiculously awesome, is what it is. Yeah, that is amazing. There's like a little owl up in the, uh, from the branches here. Yeah, that's really outstanding. All right, folks, if you're not inspired now, I don't, I don't even know what to tell you. Here we have a fire giantess. This is by Reaper, and uh, I have to hand it to him. Whoever painted this, uh, they really brought a lot of sharpness out in uh, what is um, usually a very uh, roundly cast model. Uh, I was actually surprised to see this model here, and uh, there's just, I, I love the little backdrop. You actually see that on a couple of figures here, uh, where there's like a, like a little painting that, that goes along with it. Okay, and here we see the thing is opening. The, um, the curator here actually wears gloves. You see all these guys wearing white gloves. And uh, they really treat these models with a high degree of respect. And, um, well, and you gotta consider that a lot of these pieces have, you know, 400 plus hours put into them. It's really, really outstanding. So this is one of Sean's faves here. And um, up here we've got uh, this Minotaur. You know, I'm just gonna go one, one to the next. And uh, like the cobwebs are a really cool element. And uh, this guy, you know, this almost looks like Sam Lins is what I would, what I would guess here. But uh, you don't really get to know any of the artists, uh, which I think is uh, is really a good thing. I'm pretty sure the judges judge blind for it as well. All right, 
I think I just started recording. All right, this is a diorama uh, from uh, Cool Minis line Dark Age. And uh, we've got, uh, it's really, really intricate. Uh, it has a great narrative quality to it. This model runs about $70. You see this little sacrificial victim here. Uh, sort of a uh, classic King Kong situation here. And uh, it's a really cool OSL on these uh, mushrooms. I, and I absolutely love this still water. It's uh, really gooey. Very nicely done. Okay, this is one of my absolute favorite pieces. It features uh, Jeremiah Cray from the War Machine line in this uh, sort of Canyonlands vignette. Uh, the water actually, if you look back there, you can see the water is splashing up against the canyon walls. And uh, I have to say that is, that is a very bold maneuver to undertake. I mean, this artist could have really just skipped that element, but he did not leave out a narrative bit. And uh, this is extremely convincing. Uh, just really, this really tells uh, a, a wonderful story and is extremely well executed. This is fun. Uzbek's Garage. Very classic, bright style. You got like goblin greenish yellow highlights on the skin here. Uh, but everything done very flat. And uh, the, I mean, this is, a very, this is an extremely convincing piece. Very nice, very nicely done.